In this video, I will show the discoveries of archaeologists that scientists cannot explain. Mysterious golden spirals, the mystery of Japanese figurines, a tiny alien and ancient aluminum artifacts, and the most shocking thing is the teeth of a humanoid creature that is about 10 million years old. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Danish Spirals Archaeologists in Denmark have discovered 2,000 golden spirals buried in the field, believed to have been used to decorate the ceremonial clothing of priest kings who worshipped the sun in the Bronze Age. The find dates back to between 900 and 700 BC and is pure gold. Each spiral reaches a length of up to 3 cm and the total weight of the find is from 200 to 300 grams. The purpose of the spirals is still a matter of debate, since such a discovery was made for the first time in Denmark. It is believed that the spirals could have been attached to threads that decorated a hat or umbrella, woven into hair, or embroidered on ceremonial clothing. In addition to the spirals and gold bracelets, six gold bowls were found here, discovered by local farmers in the 1800s. The area may have had religious significance as a place where Bronze Age worship was performed rituals and sacrifices. Perhaps the priest king wore a gold bracelet on his wrist and golden spirals adorned his cloak or hat glistening in the sun as symbols of solar magic. Ancient Tomb Hidden in the shadow of the blue doors of an ancient Min dynasty tomb in China was a mystery for centuries. Having opened the gates, archaeologists encountered an extraordinary, luxurious tomb from 400 years ago. The tomb, found during preparations for the construction of a highway in Shanxi province, is impressive in its preservation and sophistication of execution. Researchers have confirmed that the tomb, dating back to the Ming era, contained nobles. Two luxurious wooden coffins with exquisite patterns and porcelain vessels indicate the high status of the diseased. Epitaphs hint at noble origins and magnificently decorated coffers indicate a connection with the royal court. The finds include furniture, writing instruments, and artistic objects, highlighting the sophisticated lifestyle of the elite of the time. Despite many hypotheses, the exact reason for the opulence and purpose of the tomb remain unknown, adding mystery to the history of the Min Dynasty, a period of flourishing culture, art, and science in China. Neolithic Sacrifices on Eulenburg Hill near Magdeburg, Germany, archaeologists have discovered a complex Neolithic burial site with two monumental mounds dating back 6,000 years. The two mounds, located 200 meters apart, contain wooden burial chambers with several burials. Since 2023, archaeologists from the State Office for Monument Protection and Archaeology of Saxony-Anhalt have been actively studying Eulenburg in anticipation of the construction of an industrial park by Intel. Eulenburg, thanks to its fertile soils, has been used for settlement since the early Neolithic period. During the Balbar culture, two large wooden burial chambers were built. Burial practices varied from simple burial pits to burials in wooden chambers on their mounds, indicating public or family burials. About a thousand years later, during the globular Amphora culture, the road between the mounds was used for processions with sacrifices of young livestock and human burials. Samurai Treasure not far from Tokyo, the largest treasure trove of antique coins in Japanese history was discovered. The treasure is kept in a huge clay pot, which is now on display in Kumagaya, the Saitama Prefectural Cultural Treasury, i.e. the National Museum. The historical treasure of bronze coins not only reveals new historical data, but also serves as evidence of the natural chemical processes of time. The copper in their bronze alloy has oxidized over the past 400 years, causing the coins to take on a bright green hue due to a patina similar to that covering the Statue of Liberty. The clay pot of coins, which is more than half a meter wide, was likely buried hundreds of years ago. It was discovered by archaeologists last year in ruins that were the site of a medieval samurai pavilion. The coins date back to the 15th century during the Min Dynasty in China. Coins from the Tan Dynasty, 7th century, were also found at the same excavation site. They are associated with Chinese dynasties because Japan was one of the last great civilizations to adopt its own coin system. The coins were held together on ropes, passing through holes, and each rope contained 1,000 coins. The standard at the time was one strain of 1,000 bronze coins equal to one ounce of silver. This knowledge of the historical period allowed archaeologists to estimate the number of coins without removing them from the giant pot. The number 
260 was engraved on its lid. This coin hoard represented a huge fortune in 15th and 16th centuries Japan. For this money, one could buy enough rice to feed 500 people for a year. Oldest Human Tooth Scientists have announced a sensational discovery in Germany. Ancient dental fossils, estimated to be almost 10 million years old, that they say do not fit into the established chronology of human history. What's truly shocking is that one of these fossils resembles the teeth of man's earliest ancestors. However, until now such teeth have only been found in Africa, not Europe, and even the existing range of fossils is millions of years younger. Found in September 2016 near the German city of Appelsheim, two well-preserved teeth date back to approximately 9.7 million years ago. One of the teeth, an upper right for a smaller, is similar in characteristics to other specimens found in the area. But the other tooth, the upper left canine, is different and the researchers say its outline and shape are similar to those of hominine species, including Australopithecus afarensis. The problem is that Lucy is estimated to be only 3 million years old and it is believed that humanity's earliest ancestors began their migration from Africa to Europe in Asia approximately 100,000 years ago. So the question is, who did these teeth belong to, which were in the wrong place and at the wrong time, and how did they get there? Medieval Ring the legendary Sherwood Forest, famous for Robin Hood, the robber who took from the rich for the benefit of the poor, has given treasure to the modern treasure hunter, a medieval ring found in the ground and believed to date from the 14th century. Mark Thompson, who paints forklifts for a living, discovered the artifact in the famous Nottinghamshire Forest just 20 minutes after he began searching with a metal detector. 34-year-old Thompson, who took up the hobby just 18 months ago, was expecting to find something minor but discovered a gold ring with a precious sapphire. The find is being evaluated for treasure and Thompson is hoping for a big win. Valuers estimate the ring could be worth between 20,000 and 70,000 pounds. The guy is eagerly awaiting for outcome of the trial to confirm the ring's status as treasure. If it is recognized as such, it will be assessed by experts and offered for purchase to museums and Thompson will receive a reward. The ring decorated with the image of the infant Christ on one side and the female saint on the other came to us from the 14th century. The Mystery of Japanese Figurines Mysticism reigns around the ancient art of Japan, especially among Western scholars. What is the meaning of the small, alien-like, adorable clay figurines called dogu, found within the prehistoric German period? Why do dogu have such similar traits despite the diversity of masters and regions? And how can we give meaning to works created by people with whom we have no opportunity to communicate? They have been discovered mainly in Western Japan since the 17th century and have a unique appearance. To modern humans, they may appear alien-like due to their bulging eyes and exaggerated proportions, but they are assumed to depict humanoid, likely female figures, with wide hips and feminine breasts. Archaeologists and cultural scientists are still not sure of the exact purpose of dogu in ancient society. There is an assumption that the figurine served as an assistant during childbirth or a symbol of fertility. These similarities between dogu and fertility figurines from other cultures suggest that they probably symbolize the pregnant female body. The German period spans a vast period of time and includes various stages from early to late, each characterized by its own unique features in the making of pottery and the use of dogu for shamanistic or ritual purposes. In modern Japan, dogu have taken on new life, becoming icons in video games and pop culture, demonstrating their influence far beyond the historical German period and expanding their presence into the modern world, where they are embodied in various artistic and cultural forms. Children's Cemetery on the island of Boscata, located in the northern Aegean Sea, archaeologists have uncovered the secrets of the ancient past by discovering burial sites that are hundreds of years old. This island, also known as Tenedo, is associated with the myth of Tennis, a ruler during the Trojan War and served as a strategic point for military campaigns and antiquity. Under the leadership of Professor Turan Takalu from Kanakali University, new finds were discovered in 2023 in the area of the ancient necropolis, where they found numerous 
numerous children's burials with ritual objects placed in pitoi and amphorae. Particular attention was drawn to the Pitta's grave of the 6th century BC, to which another burial was added later in the 4th century BC. In this grave, figurines of goddesses in the bronze pin were discovered, which allowed scientists to delve deeper into the study of the beliefs and cultural traditions of that time. Figurines reflecting Phrygian culture speak of the worship of Cybele and Dionysus, which is characteristic of the dominant beliefs of the 4th century BC in Tenedo. Aluminum Wedge the Ayuda Aluminum Wedge, also known as the Ayuda Object, is one of the most mysterious and controversial finds of our time. According to various sources, it was discovered in 1973 in Romania on the banks of the Mures River, under a layer of sand about 10 meters deep, next to the bones of a mastodon. The main reason for the conspiracy theories surrounding the Ayuda Aluminum Wedge is that it is made from aluminum, a material unknown to mankind before the 1800s, while the wedge is believed to be around 10. 10,000 years old. The composition of the wedge includes 89% aluminum, 6.2% copper, 1.8% zinc and other elements. Aluminum production requires temperatures of 1000 degrees and mass production began only in 1885. The wedge is covered with a thick layer of oxide, the age of which is estimated at 3-400 years. After the discovery, the object was transferred to the Archaeological Institute of cluj napoca for research, but the dating method was not specified. The the basis for the theory of the extraterrestrial origin of the wedge is its aluminum composition. Romanian ufologist Florian Georgetta and other researchers consider the wedge to be evidence of extraterrestrial activity in the past. However, there are also scientists who consider the find to be a fake, the purpose of creation and origin of which remain unclear. Since 1995, the Ayuda wedge is no longer on public display and is kept in an undisclosed location, although there are photographs confirming its existence. Helmets with runes the origin of the runic alphabet still remains a mystery to scientists seeking to establish the time of its appearance. Therefore, every archaeological find with a runic inscription is subject to careful study. When Nigo helmets with clear runic inscriptions were discovered in 1812, it raised many questions and theories regarding their meaning. Is it possible that Nigo helmets bear Germanic runes dating back to between 350 and 450 BC? Nigo helmets found near the town and castle of Nigo in the Duchy of Styria, in Slovenia contained 26 bronze helmets probably offered as a ceremonial gift. One of the helmets, called Nigao B, bore a runic inscription in the northern Etruscan alphabet. Probably, this discovery has given rise to many theories as to what language the inscription is written in and what it means. Recent research by Tom Markey suggests that the inscription can be translated as Harrogus Priest. This could mean the owner of the helmet or the one who offered it as a sacrifice. Nigao A's helmet bears four further inscriptions, which Markey suggests are in Celtic. The helmets are now kept in various museums throughout Europe, including the Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna and the Archaeological Museum in Zagreb. Tomb filled with gold in Panama, archaeologists discovered a 1,300-year-old tomb that was filled with gold items and unique artifacts. The peculiarity of the burial is that its occupant was buried facing the ground. This unique find was made in the El Caño Archaeological Park in the Nata region, known for its ancient tombs and monuments dating back to 700-1000 AD. The find provides new information about the Cocal culture, which flourished in the area before the arrival of the Spaniards. Artifacts include an abundance of gold jewelry, including pectorals, gold belts and bracelets, earrings depicting human figures and two-headed crocodiles, as well as belts, dog-toothed jewelry, sets of bone flutes and much more. Numerous artifacts richly decorated with gold emphasize the high social status of the deceased, presumably one of the leaders of the local community. Of interest is the practice of burying servants together with their master, which indicates sacrifices and confirms the status of the buried. Excellently preserved fresco Archaeologists have made a surprising discovery in Pompeii, discovering an ancient fresco that had been hidden under a layer of volcanic ash for two millennia. This work of art was found in the famous House of Leda, decorated with exquisite paintings, which is an important historical object. It depicts a mythological scene with Phrixus and Hell, brother and sister, who escape from their evil stepmother on a magic ram. This legend tells how Aino, an evil stepmother, seeks to get rid of his stepchildren. In the scene depicted, Hell falls from the ram and, according to myth, drowns in the streets separating Europe and Asia. Archaeologists call this discovery truly magical. The city of 
Pompey was buried under a thick layer of ash after the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD, and excavations are still ongoing, from time to time presenting scientists with unexpected artifacts. It is expected that this unique artifact will soon be presented to the public. Medusa Gorgon in the British town of Nasborough, on the banks of the River Ned, there is a unique cave called Mother Shipton, where objects turn into stone. According to legend, it was here in 1488 that the famous soothsayer Mother Shipton was born, who predicted many events, including the Great Fire of London. Initially, the waterfall in the cave was famous for its healing properties, but over time, local residents discovered that objects that fell under its water turned to stone. This attracted public attention and the cave became Britain's first paid attraction. Among the exhibits in the cave, you can see many fossilized objects, including men's top hats and hats from the 19th century, teapots, teddy bears, and even a bicycle. The secret of this phenomena lies in the high content of minerals in the cave water, which contribute to the petrification of objects. Thus. Mother Shipton's cave is evidence of an interest in natural phenomena and attracts stories with its history and amazing exhibits, each of which contains part of the magic and mysticism of the past. Tiny Alien just two months after scientists in Peru exposed a hoax claiming two dolls were actually alien buddies, alien stories are resurfacing online. This time, a premature human fetus with an elongated skull found in Colombia is being linked to little green men and ancient races. However, skeptical scientists prove that the skeleton belonged to an unborn human fetus. The main reason why many people believe such absurd headlines about aliens is because some of the world's major media outlets publish high dramatic articles present logical fallacies. Adequate scientists and anyone who read an anatomy textbook in school can definitely say that the remains belong to a stillborn human fetus. The so-called alien has an elongated skull, which combined with its unusual eyes and ten ribs on each side of the body as opposed to the typical twelve in humans, has led to claims of extraterrestrial origin. As it turns out, the reporter who broke the story in the Daily Mail received the first images of the alien anonymously via WhatsApp. This that's all the archaeological discoveries. While some speculate about an ancient tiny race of people that coexisted with Aymara people of the Andes hundreds if not thousands of years ago, research by anatomists from the University of Stockholm in Sweden and Stony Brook Medical School in the US suggests that the skeleton belongs to the fetus of a premature human baby. Coin with a rare image Minted over 2,000 years ago, the silver denarius is hardly the most attractive Roman coin. However, it is key evidence of the early phase of the political struggle that ended with the assassination of Caesar and the fall of the Roman Empire. I was intrigued by its unusual design, which depicted people crossing a bridge and throwing something into a box. It turned out to be a vote. This highlights that efforts to regulate voting access began long before our time. Voting was a key aspect of the Roman Empire, where only man could vote. In 139 BC, Roman politician Aulus Gabinus introduced a law requiring written ballots for elections, making it more difficult for elites to influence voting. The Nerva coin, minted approximately 6-7 years after the introduction of Gaius Marius' law, which limited the influence of the elites, almost certainly refers to this event. The absence of any other figures on the coin other than the poll worker is key to understanding its message. As we can see, the call for voters to come to the polls and cast their vote for the best candidate was very important even 2,000 years ago, and this important event for any state was even minted on coins. Bats' Mysterious Sphere The origins of the bat sphere, a steel ball found by a Florida family in 1974, continue to be surrounded by conspiracy theories. Some suggest the alien origin of this find, but both military and ufologists came to the conclusion that the object was created by men. Nevertheless, the mysticism around the sphere continues to live on. The Bats family found the sphere after the fire, believing it to be from Spanish colonial times. However, the ball turned out to be completely clean and shiny, not like the weapons of that time. In the house, the sphere began to exhibit mysterious behavior, moving on its own and making sounds. Interest in the sphere increased after a series of studies by experts who were unable to fully reveal its secret. However, scientists are inclined to believe that the ball is of terrestrial origin, citing its steel composition. The bat sphere continues to excite minds, become the subject of speculation and conspiracy theories. Some suggest its connection with alien civilizations, while others see it only as a lost human artifact. 
Subglacial Lake in Antarctica A Chinese expedition is planning a unique study of the subglacial lake Killen in Antarctica, discovered in 2022 and hidden under 3,600 meters of ice. The lake, covering 370 square kilometers and up to 200 meters deep, may have been cut off from the outside world for 3 million years, making it a potential home for unknown life forms adapted to extreme conditions. Researchers hope that penetrating its depth will reveal the secrets of the ecosystem and provide new data about the Earth's climatic past. However, the challenge requires the development of advanced technologies for clean drilling and sample collection to avoid contamination of the unique environment. There is no start date for the expedition as scientists ramp up technological preparations for this ambitious project, which aims to explore never-before-seen corners of our planet and understand how life can survive in the harshest environments. There are only two of these in the world. In eastern Hungary, near Debrecen, archaeologists have discovered a rare burial from the 7th century, an Avar warrior completely dressed in plate armor. The discovery was one of only two such finds in the world, demonstrating the luxury and power of military equipment of the Avars who migrated to the Pannonian plain from the Asian steppes in the 6th century. The armor, consisting of hundreds of interconnected metal plates, stands out for its excellent preservation and is a key element of the burial kit. The find represents a valuable source of data on the military traditions and burial customs of the Avars, who dominated the region for more than 250 years. Also notable is the method of extracting the burial sets in one block, which is rare for archaeological excavations. This unique find opens up new horizons for understanding the culture and military art of the Avar people. Thracian Chariot in November 2008, archaeologists discovered a unique bronze chariot dating from the end of the 2nd century AD in an ancient Thracian tomb in southeastern Bulgaria. This richly decorated chariot is one of the few found in Bulgaria and serves as evidence of the ritual practices that accompanied the funerals of prominent figures of the Thracian people who believed in a better life after death. The dead were offered all the items they needed in life, and the higher the status of the deceased, the richer the funeral gifts were. The bronze chariot, covered with wood, is decorated with scenes from Thracian mythology, images of the god Eris, a leaping panther, and a mythological beast with the body of a panther and the sail of a dolphin. The wheels of the chariot have a diameter of about one and a half meters. The discovery of a four-wheeled chariot, especially one with such large wheel diameters, is extremely rare. At the archaeological site, well-preserved wooden parts of chariots, table ceramics, glassware, wooden and leather objects, probably part of horse harnesses and other gifts were found that were used for the funeral of a wealthy Thracian aristocrat. The oldest bread in the world during excavations two years ago in the famous ancient Anatolian city of Katalhoyuk, archaeologists discovered a large structure that was used as a public oven. Traces of plant and food remains were also found, including unusual porous sediment with an interesting texture. Research has shown that this strange substance is actually the remains of fermented bread, which, according to radiocarbon dating, was made around 6600 BC. It is safe to say that this find in Katalhoyuk is the oldest bread in the world. Researchers were able to determine that it was ordinary bread, small in size, and probably regularly consumed by a significant portion of, of the 7 10,000 inhabitants of Chattel Hoyuk in 6600 BC. Interestingly, the bread was not actually cooked in the large oven in which it was found. Technically speaking, the claim that the discovered bread is the oldest in the world is incorrect. Several years ago, archaeologists discovered remains identified as a flat bread at a 14,000 year old hunter gatherer site in Jordan known as Shubaika and recently, there was a report of 34,000-year-old bread in Australia. But the new discovery is the oldest form of fermented bread ever found, which gives the Chattel Huyuk artifact a certain distinction. Grissorf Man on July 10, 1834, William Bastwick discovered an ancient burial mound on his property in Gristorp, North Yorkshire, England. In it was found an unusually shaped oak coffin containing the remains of a Bronze Age man known today as the Man of Gristorp. New discoveries about Gristorp man have revealed that he stood around 1.8 meters tall, which was tall for the Bronze Age. This indicated a high social position, perhaps he was a tribal leader. Additional evidence of this status can be found in funerary objects 
objects. Before being placed in an oak coffin, the body of the man of Gristorp was wrapped in a leather cloak. The grave goods included a dagger, flint tools, a basket containing food remains, and a bark vessel that, according to modern research, contained milk. Modern science has also revealed that Gristorp man was likely a war warrior due to the presence of numerous healed fractures. Isotopic analysis of his tooth indicates a consistent rich meat diet throughout his life. Radiocarbon dating of dental dentine and femur carried out at the University of Bradford showed his death to be approximately 4,000 years ago. Miss Sunshine Dreams of being miniature and petite are the desire of many women, but reality sometimes shocks with unexpected turns. The story of Medusa Van Allen, an Ohio girl born March 19, 1908, is an example of this. Her growth stopped at six months, and thereafter, only her head continued to grow. Despite her physical limitations, Medusa's mental abilities remained unchanged, and thanks to the efforts of her parents and her own desire for knowledge, she got a degree and became a writer. In the 1930s, Medusa became part of Ripley's show, where she represented one of the wonders. At exhibitions, she claimed that she enjoyed life and found true pleasure in it. She rejected the question of a possible change to her usual position, believing that her uniqueness is part Part of her identity. Her performances in the circus were unusual. She was carried in arms, rocked like a baby, after which she made deep philosophical statements forcing the audience to reconsider their ideas about appearance and mental abilities. Medusa also wrote an autobiography reflecting on life and human potential in the world. Unfortunately, Medusa's life was short. She died at 35 from a heart attack while on tour. But throughout her life, she left behind a legacy of courage and proof that the spirit can over Overcome physical limitation and that hope never dies. In one of the last videos on the channel, I talked about the most incredible discoveries of the Second World War. I highly recommend checking it out. And see you in new videos on the channel.